Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part 17 of our series of session on F12 configuration for voucher type. So we have been seeing the configuration for purchase voucher and sales voucher intermittently. In today's session, we will see a couple of more sessions which I had already covered under the voucher configuration for payment and receipt voucher. Nevertheless, we will quickly discuss about these options in this video also. And I will upload the videos which covers these configurations under payment and receipt voucher for your reference, where you can view them and understand them where I had explained them in detail. So you can actually click on the eye icon on top to access those videos. So let's go to tally now and quickly see these options and how these options are going to help you in managing your data better. We are in the sales voucher. So let us explore additional options under F12 configuration. So I'm going to press F12 and in this session, we will see couple of more options under F12. So the next option that we will understand is this option of skip the date field during voucher entry. So like I'd mentioned, these options, I have explained them in detail in the previous video, which I have given the link on the i icon on top you can click on that and view those videos for more detail so here i'm going to just cover in a nutshell for the user to understand the benefit of these options so the first option let's see this skip the date field during voucher entry so now this option is no so since this option is no what is the behavior let us understand so I'm going to close this by pressing Control Q. Control Q is to quit without saving any changes you have done in the configuration. So I'm going to press Control Q. And uh, if you notice here, the moment I come to the sales voucher, so let me come back again. So I'm going to press Escape. Okay, and then I'm going to select voucher. The sales voucher is here. And if you notice here, the cursor is now in the date field so that, you know, you can go and change the date. Now, if you don't want the cursor to go to the date field, you want to skip the date field. Why would you want to skip the date field? See, generally on a given day, you would have multiple vouchers to be entered. So instead of every time the cursor going there and pressing one more enter, you would want tally to skip the date so that the whatever is the current date that has been entered will be retained for your sales voucher so that you can quickly make your sales entry now since the cursor is going here you have to if it is the same date you're going to press enter again so to avoid that one extra enter you come here press f12 configuration and come to this skip the date field during voucher creation come here make this as yes y enter and press control a if you notice the cursor will not go to the date field so let's come back again to see how the cursor goes to the reference number field so i'm going to escape here and when i come to voucher here you will notice that the cursor is not gone to the date field, but it has come to the reference number field and you capture this information. So this way you can skip the date. Now the next question, what happens if I have to enter any voucher for the next day or some voucher I have to enter for the previous day? Very simple. On the right hand side button bar, your secret number one, you have this option called F2 date. So all you need to do is just click F2 date and automatically tally will give you the next day from the current date. So if you are going to enter the next day, just press enter. 
the date will change but the cursor will not go to the date field so this is the option of f12 configuration of skip the date field during the voucher creation the next option we will see is warn when voucher number exceeds 16 character so this option i had discussed in the payment voucher where i had explained the importance and the relevance of this option is very very essential especially in your sales voucher and that too in the sales voucher in case if you are having a manual number configured for your sales voucher the gst law says the invoice reference number should not exceed 16 digit so to have a control over this requirement of the gst compliance under the sales voucher you have this option called warn when voucher number exceeds 16 character so if you make this as yes and if you are having a manual number now in this case if you see let me just come back i am going to press control q in this case if you see the sales voucher has an automatic number set so here there is no issue because you know i mean you might not have more than 16 digit of auto number in a year okay even if you have you know basically it is going to control so this option is going to be useful when you have your manual voucher number selected for your sales invoice i'm going to press f12 configuration and if you make this option as yes and if the voucher number is set as manual it will now validate for 16 digit you can see that video uh, link where i had explained with the example of how tally identifies the 16 uh, digit or 16 character and provides you the warning this option of warn when voucher number exceeds 16 character is available for your sales voucher only under your purchase voucher f12 configuration you will not have this option and let us see the other options the other options are uh, in the previous video which i have provided the link i had discussed in detail about show current balance of the ledger show balance as on voucher date show final balance of the ledger so these three options i have explained with examples for you to understand better since it is already been explained i don't want to repeat this again here so you can click on the link and see the advantage of seeing the current balance as on date as on voucher date and also understand what is this show final ledger balance also the extra thing that is available under the sales and your purchase voucher is show turnover for selected party account so this option by default it is going to be no and uh, when you make this as yes what happens let us see so i am going to come here and then make this option as yes i am going to press y enter and control a so we are in the sales voucher so i am going to select a party so i am going to select india mart right and now if you notice here these are the additional information the current balance is what which will show what is the current balance okay now it will also if you have set a credit limit for the party it is also going to show you what is the credit limit that you have set for the party so the important thing that we configured is the turnover field so we had configured uh, in f12 to show the turnover of the selected party so we have selected india mart for the current year the turnover that i have made to this particular party is 12 75000 which means 12 lakh 75000 worth of invoices i have raised for this particular customer so that is the option of show turnover 
show turnover from the selected party account. If I make this as no, I'm going to make this as no, enter, control A, and now you will see that the turnover of the party is not getting displayed here. So that is where if you want to use this option to see the total turnover as on date for a selected party, you can make this option as yes. This option of show turnover from selected party account will be available for the sales voucher and also the purchase voucher. I hope these options, even though they are simple, it would be useful to you where you need those options for faster data entry and various other information you can see during the voucher entry itself. So thank you very much for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you.